Hello everyone, I'm glad you're here today. I'm going to bring you two dreams that my father dreamt in July 2022. One is I it's about chaos and one is about the financial system. If that interests you, keep listening. If not, go ahead and check out because I don't want to waste your time. At the end of these dreams, I'll give a quick commentary. All right, the first one, July 7th, 2022. This is a dream that I think has to do with coming chaos and the authority that Jesus gives us as believers. It started like this. He was with a friend, an unrecognizable friend. He was with another man, and they were planning to take a trip. But the man wanted to buy four gifts, and he wanted my dad to go with him to buy these gifts. When they began to walk outside, the ground was very mushy and muddy, kind of soft, and then it turned into snow. And my dad said, look, it's getting deep ahead of us. But they kept going. They got to a strip mall. And the man asked, where do I go? And my dad said, well, there's the gift shop right there. And they both went into the gift shop. My dad shopped and this man shopped around. And then my dad, while he was waiting on this friend to pick things out, my dad went into another side room. And there was a woman standing there behind a table. And she said, buy one of my books. And my dad said, no, 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 thank you. And uh, he went back, checked on his friend, went back to the room uh, because his friend was still shopping. So he went back to the side room and the woman was there still. And she said, why don't you buy one of my books? And my dad said, is it your book? And she said, yes, for $5. So my dad um, looked at the book and when he opened it, he noticed it was an old book. And um, when he opened it, uh, he noticed the binding broke and cracked. And he said to her, that's an old book. She said, yes, but it's mine, she said. So my dad decided to buy the book for $5, and she said it will be five twenty-five, five dollars and twenty-five cents with tax. And so my dad opened up his wallet, and it was full of money, uh, several bills of money, and he, he gave her the five. He said, I don't have 25 cents. So he gave her a dollar bill. Now, what was interesting is in between the, the money in his wallet, in between the bills in his wallet, there were pictures of Jesus. Like torn out magazine pictures of Jesus. And, and the woman noticed it. And she said, she said, oh, are those pictures of Jesus? And my dad said, yes, I collect pictures of Jesus. And so then he gave her the money. And then suddenly, um, a, a chaos, there was a hallway between the gift shop and the room my dad was in. And this chaotic group of people began running down the hallway as a group. They were just full of fear. And, and, and so my dad watched them through this window and, and they ran by and then a man with a huge sword, like, a uh, let's see, how did he describe it? Um, it was a, it was like a brave heart, a, a heavy sword, uh, was chasing this group of people. And he was, this man was dark and like dark clothes. He was fat. He had a broadsword and he was coming at the crowd. My dad described him as odious and distorted, not really human. And my dad thought, wow, I, I wish I had my gun. Then a little man appeared behind the fat man, same same dark clothing, odious, not really human, very distorted. And the little man had a little knife. And then suddenly 
my dad looked down and he had a gun in his hand. So the women in the room, there were women in the room he was, he was in, and he told them all, get in the corner. And he got all of them behind him. And he said, I will kill them with this if they come in. So he stood protecting the women in that room against the entity that was out in the hallway. And he had the gun and he was glad he had it. Then the dream went back to normal. And he remembered his friend that was shopping for the four gifts. And so he went back to look for his friend with the gifts. And the friend said, yes, he had found his four gifts and he was ready to go. That's the end of the dream. All right, the next dream. All right, he dreamt that dream on July 7th, 2022. This next dream he dreamt on July 19th, 2022. I do not know if these dreams go together. I don't sense anything like they do. They might. I do think they're both warning dreams. All right, July 19th, 2022. Oh, let me preface this dream. My dad is an artist, so he paints, he he sculpts, he carves. He's very artistic in real life. So July 19th, 2022, this is what he dreamt. He was with a group of people, five or six people, and each of them had a bucket of clay. But there was a boy in the group who did not, he had a bucket but it didn't have any clay in it. And they were all kind of squatted down by their buckets. And when he noticed that this boy didn't have any clay, he said, you're going to need some clay. He said, maybe when we get started, uh, I can give you some of mine. So each of them stood up and stood at a table that was about chest high. And there was an instructor that came into the room and he said, put your clay on the table. And so they did. And he said, that's when I gave some of my clay to the kid next to me. And then the ki- the man on the other side of this boy gave this kid some of his clay. So this boy now had clay. The instructor said, I want you to make two forms a large one and a small one, statues of a bull. That's what the instructor said. I want you to make two things, a small and a large statue of a bull. So my dad began to mold the clay. And he started at the hips of the bull, and he was trying to make the back legs support the hips of the bull, but the legs kept collapsing under the weight of the clay. And he knew he couldn't present a a statue like that to the instructor. So he decided to make the bull reclining, laying down. So he made the body, looked good. He worked on the head. The instructor came by and said, it looks good. We'll see whose is the best. So my dad got to the head. Everything was molded. He He started with the larger image. He got to the head. The body looked good. He was trying to shape the horns of the bull. But every time he put the horns on the bull, the clay would collapse. So he kept having to add more and more clay to the horns to keep them upright. It looked a little distorted, but it wasn't too bad. The head did, but it wasn't it, it wasn't bad and he was finished. And he was looking at it, at the finished statue, and he thought, it needs a brand. So he took a sharp instrument, and he carved into the hip of that bull an X, an I, and a J. And that's the end of the dream. All right. I'm not going to talk any more about dreams. I'm not adding any more about dreams. If you need to go and ponder these things, you can. This is a great point of time in this video to go. Thank you for listening. If you want to continue to listen, I'm going to give some ideas on what I think these dreams might 
mean. I'm not getting firm indications one way or the other. My approach to Christianity and believing in Jesus as the Son of God is just that. He is the center of it all. Dreams, visions, those things are peripheral and support our confidence and sometimes warn us and teach us. But we always need to stay centered and keep our minds on what Christ did on the cross, that he saves us from our sins. He can recreate us with his power. It is his grace that he freely gives to us that allows us to go to heaven. So that is what we focus on always. And that the Bible is the supreme word of God to be trusted and not filtered through anything but the Holy Spirit, which is perfect, who is God. Now then, my dad, 81, lives next door to me. We are all believers in Jesus. So that's the background. I think these dreams, the first one, the four gifts I'm not sure that that man isn't an angelic being. The number four probably means something. If you have anything to add to that, I'm not sure what it means. I know that four is mentioned in Revelation a lot. I think that it's very interesting that President Grant is on the $5 bill and President George Washington is on the $1 bill. I think that's worth noting that that's how much it cost and George Washington is on the 20 is on the quarter. So America civil war because of President Grant that might be an uh, indication of civil war coming. I also think that it is important that the binding of that book broke. And it's an old book. And I'm wondering if what is keeping us together as a nation is is breaking. And it will create chaos. And I do think those two uh, dark figures were probably demonic entities. I think when you dream about a firearm, that indicates authority. And in this dream, I think my dad was given authority in the spirit to protect and and be protected during threatening times. So that's the overview of what I take from that dream. If you have some other input or a takeaway, I would love for you to comment below. Thank you for being so gracious with your time and offering what you have to think. Now then, the next dream about the clay, I wonder if my dad represents America, and I wonder if the generosity of America, giving part of America to other people, is how that was brought forth when he gave the clay to the boy. I'm wondering if molding the bull represents Wall Street, and that the back legs could not support that bull. I'm wondering about a financial collapse. I'm not educated in finances or the stock market. So don't don't hear that I, I know a lot about that because I don't. But I know that there's a statue of a bull in front of Wall Street in New York City because I've stood there. So I'm wondering if that is the case, that that is collapsing and that the horns that defend the bull, is they're collapsing. He could not get the horns to stay up. They were weak. And I'm wondering if that indicates America is weakening in its ability to defend herself. And then at the very end, when he brands it with XIJ, I just wonder if that in some way represents China. And that possibly... China's fingers and pockets go very deep into our country, and we don't even know about it. Somebody knows about it, but you and I probably don't. I know I don't. So those are my thoughts, my interpretations. 
Let me know what you think through the Holy Spirit. Please be prayerful. Please stay focused on Jesus. These dreams, they're just dreams and may or may not be from God. But when you dream dreams that are so vivid and so different than what you usually dream, sometimes it's prudent to pay attention to them. Note them. Ponder about them and time will tell. That's all I have. Stay close to God. This is Gina Lima Charlie. I'm out.